this is Ray Barron's and this is a Corps of Engineer Park um, at Mark Twain Lake, which is about uh, 30 minutes from Hannibal, Missouri. So. One thing that we absolutely love about Corps of Engineer Park is there's two up here. It's not one that we typically stay at. Um, but the thing that we love most about them is that all the spaces are super far apart. This also has a boat ramp. Um, and, a, and a marina, and so you can come in for the day. Cute little guard shop. Those are the people rest that the dog came running out at me this morning. Seven sites back that loop. The rain cleared up today, so everybody's getting their boats out on the water this afternoon. The little gas station we just passed had four or five boats just sitting there waiting to get gas. One thing about um, core parks is, well, core lakes, I should say, is usually you cannot build on them. So it's not like a, um, a lake where you see tons of houses like right on the lake. You can't do that with Corps of Engineer Parks. Um, so it's always all wooded like this as you get towards the lake, which means it's a hall to get down to the lake if you're camping to walk down steep hills to get to the lake but it is kind of nice if you like to ride bikes we've seen lots of people riding bikes there's definitely a lot of road to ride bikes in there I left my bike at home. Yep, we're still going and going and going and going. We're still going past another campground. <laughs> campground. So if the kids are bothering you, just tell them, hey, get out and ride your bike and uh, don't go past the guard shack. That would be my, that would be me if I had kids. But all right, so here's the other loop. This one has a ton of campsites in it. Um, goes from what is that? Four, yeah, 48 to 60 to 116. So that has a ton in there. And then we're going back to ours, which is sites 117 through 157. Um, so. 157 sites. It's crazy. And you're all spread out. There's trees. Um, you'll see our, where our rig is. It's like, you know, we're 
covered in, I don't want to say covered in trees, we're just definitely, yeah. The other thing that I really like about these parks up here is there are always a lot of trails, like over here, um, there's a trail, like two and a half, and it says it's an easy trail. There's an amphitheater over here where they, you know, we'll do like outdoor movies and stuff. Um, there's just, I mean, there's just so much room. You're not packed in. That's one thing that we love about places like this and we hate about some other places is that you're just packed in on top of each other. Um, we like to have room and space and well, social distancing, if you want to call it that. Yeah, because, you know, we're good, at, we're good at that. These ladies might be the pickleball ladies. I wonder what they're doing with their buckets. <laughs> so you can see every, I mean, there's spaces after space after space, but you've got plenty of yard between each one. And, you know, dogs aren't getting tangled up in each other or under your camper or whatever. There's plenty of, plenty of space. You're not hearing when somebody flushes their toilet or their air kicks on. <laughs> and they always have pretty decent bathrooms, shower houses. There's the old rig. Go in and have lunch.